brothers and sisters. So yesterday we were speaking in about just a kind of a reintroduction, reintroduction back into these talks uh, since we had a bit of a pause, and also just speaking about um, from Dan's book this this whole thing about moving towards kind of an understanding of the discernment of spirits and what that means. We have to put these things in place, certain things in place. And he's one of the things he says that we must really understand. If not, discernment of spirits will not be able be possible for now in our life to be able to to you know discern God's ways and God's voice in our life and it's and it's what he calls the paradigm of ascent we must have this in place if we're going to be at all attentive to the ways of God in our life and the first one we spoke about is this authentic yes to to God and we spoke about that yesterday that a complete awareness of our need for salvation that that without with that, that I could become lukewarm and that I can lose the means of salvation by rejecting grace and that by giving a solid, authentic yes to God, a constant turning back to God is important. Today, we're going to try and talk about the, the other parts of this paradigm of ascent to union with God. The second one he lays out is, is, is fundamentally the sacrament of the Eucharist and confession. It's necessary to, to be able to be to stay close to the sources of all grace, to be able so that our minds could be filled with light and, and union with God so that we could be easily guided by the Holy Spirit and moved by the Holy Spirit and prompted by the Holy Spirit so that, you know, we could, we could be, so that we could find God's will. And even in our own Dominican tradition, this is a very important part that somebody trying to discern God's will or like say discerning priesthood, well, do they have a regular sacramental life? Are they, you know, listening to the scriptures? Are they being guided by a life that is suitable for their vocation they're thinking about, etc. And And so, you know, staying close to the sacraments, be filled with grace is crucial. So the mind is sanctified and the mind could be moved by the Holy Spirit and discern more easily the Spirit's voice. And so, so especially the Holy Eucharist, which is a source by which sanctifying grace, which perfects our mind and our will, our heart and our intellect, you could say, um, by which sanctifying grace, the Eucharist is where that sanctifying grace, which perfects the will and the intellect, increase the most in this life. So, and of course, we could fall out of grace. So staying close to regular sacramental confession, which also heals the wounds of sin in our heart and our life is so crucial. You know, because we could fall, we you know, into mortal sin, which severs the life of God's grace in us. Um, most people, most Catholics are not even aware that, you know, the outright rejection of attending mass, you know, is severs them, can, can sever them from God's grace. Because, you know, attending mass on a Sunday has, to miss that is, is a grave thing. Because it's, it's not because you're saying no to some institution, but fundamentally you're saying no to God and the most ultimate source of grace, his most ultimate gift, that he wants to give us, which is the Eucharist, which is himself. And, you know, we don't realize, maybe we're not so conscious that when we don't go, we're, we're just, we're, we're, we're like turning our back on the most exquisite um, love of God. And so it's so crucial that we don't just do things in our own terms, but that we yield and surrender ourselves to the Lord. And so the third foundational element on on this <clears throat> ascent to to God uh, the paradigm of ascent is the authentic and effective discernment is daily prayer. So Dan quotes that Teresa of Avila, Alphonse de Gouri, and other saints make this bold claim that they don't believe that one can be open to salvation without mental prayer, without daily prayer. And they say it many times in their work. The point is, if if you could call on the name of the Lord, but if you're not praying and open to His grace, then you you close yourself off from his grace and you you are you're likely the likelihood of you turning into a path of grave sin is highly possible unless you're preserved by a, sin, a really special grace from the lord but the point is mental prayer is so crucial for you to become aware uh by mental prayer i mean you know just spending time in prayer every day to raise your mind and heart to the lord to to focus on him so therefore you could call to mind his words and his deeds and his life so that you could live that with with intensity and that we could focus our life on the path of Jesus, that he carved out to show us the path to heaven. And so it's really important to, to be able to draw near to our Savior, to, to Christ in prayer, to, to, to receive the graces and strength that we need. And also our communion, uh, going to Holy Communion would be, would be much more beneficial to us if we have a strong prayer life. Because prayer disposes our soul, 
helps us open our deepest core to God. So when we go to Holy Communion, we could receive fully the grace of the Lord. Another aspect of this paradigm of ascent that Dan mentions is, is ascesis, which is basically, you know, mortification, self-denial, or, you know, the fasting, the, 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 the sacrificial ways that we are to take on for the Lord, um, which is really to the act of giving of self, you know, the, the self-denials that are involved in following Jesus to take up his cross and follow him to, to avoid overindulgence, to live a moderate life, to live, live a temperate life, to live a life that is, you know, it takes self-denial about, you know, caring about the opinion of others to do the right thing for the Lord and for God. And so, so axesis or, you know, just spiritual discipline is just an ordinary way of following Christ, but it leads to freedom. You know, so we, these are just some areas of the ascent to God, the paradigm of ascent. So we'll explore some more the next few days.